couple of final questions as we wrap things up. Heroes for you. Are there heroes in New Zealand or heroes on a worldwide scale, people who you've always looked up to and, and been inspired by? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Steve Jobs would be the number one. The guy just understood beauty and design and uh, making complicated things easy. So he has changed everybody's lives uh, with the invention of, uh, you know, the home computer and later the iPhone and all that. So, you know, he's one of my heroes. And the Dalai Lama as well, you know, I mean, just his 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 peaceful ways, uh, you know, about everything, the Chinese uh, oppressing them, uh, you know, for ages. And, and he's just still cool, calm, and uh, has his peaceful path. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm impressed by that. You've... you've You've got uh, how many kids? Five kids, right? I have five kids, yeah. Um, you've had a, a life of ups and downs. It's been a roller coaster. Yeah. Will you be advising your kids, hey, guys, live mildly? I don't think so. No, I, I think, don't think no, so either. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can see it in my two little boys. I mean, they, they certainly come after me. Uh, you know, they're adventurers. They want to explore the world, you know. Just the other day, Kimmel ran away. And we didn't know where he was for an hour. And some neighbor found him uh, on a neighboring uh, property, you know. And it's just, I mean, it's just like me. When I was four years old, I just got on a bus and drove to the to the market to eat strawberries and uh, had to be brought back home by police. Uh, and, uh, you know, that was quite the journey, actually. But given everything that you've gone through, <clears throat> aren't you sort of tempted to go be an accountant? Well, isn't every parent... You know, when you go through your 20s, you are the Superman. You just go nuts and you want to have fun and you don't care about dangers, right? And then you go into your 30s and you have your first child and you just switch, you know? You become uh, mature and you think, wow, now I really understand my parents, you know? And uh, it's just evolution. That's how it is. So thinking about your children, how much do you tell them about what's going on and, and the struggles that you are facing? Nothing at all. I shield them completely from that. I'm just making them happy. You know, the most important thing to me is that I uh, spend positive times with them, that I can make them uh, laugh and, 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 and enjoy their childhood. We talked about technology earlier on in terms of how movies might change or music might change. Um, but what about the rest of the world? We've got a guy from Stanford in New Zealand. Uh, I think he's coming here very soon. And he's talking about driverless cars within the next, you know, 15, 16 years. What do you see as the most exciting advances in technology coming up in the, in the coming decades? Well, look at what the Internet has done to the world in the last 20 years. It has accelerated evolution. We have, uh, you know, better medicines, we have better products, uh, we, ha we communicate more efficiently. And uh, just imagine what the Internet do will, will do in the next 20 years. You know, we're just getting a glimpse of what's possible. And I'm really excited about the new technologies. You know, I think we will all be driving in electronic cars. Some of them will be self-driving. Some of them will be, uh, you know, driver-driven. And there will be so many new innovations uh, that will ultimately disrupt old technologies, just like Mega Upload did, uh, you know, like the light bulb did uh, to the candlestick makers. I mean, that's the story of life. And you either either you, ad you adapt uh, to that new reality and survive, or you don't, and you go under that's how it worked always what, what do you say to those who say the internet's not going to produce a utopia that uh, attention spans are contracting it hasn't necessarily increased the sum of human uh, knowledge in terms of, i mean when you see i is, totally is videos, i totally disagree with um, that i mean just just look at google what google did you know, how, many, how often do you use Google when you quickly need an answer to something, right? Before, you I've had to... I've been Googling all this interview, constantly, yeah. all See? my questions. So <laughs> absolutely, the internet is the biggest source of knowledge, and it's even going to increase, and it's going to get smarter. You know, you will have uh, uh, search bots in the future that are going to understand much better what you are looking for. You're not just looking for understanding the words that you are typing in, but because of your previous searches and and uh, knowing more about uh, who you are, they can actually predict what you want to know. Why did you choose Lila Hari? Lila Hari is, uh, is an incredible leader. You know, I met her uh, a couple of times and I just felt this power the strength in her she's really a strong woman um, everything that she says makes total sense she has no fear and i was completely confirmed by that uh, you know when the right-wing media was trashing her all over the place about this partnership and she stood her ground 
and she unified the two parties, Internet uh, and Mana Party. And now we are out there uh, filling town halls and really getting uh, traction with our campaign. Did you have to make a pitch to her? Did you have to say, did you have to sit her down and woo her? I always have to make a pitch. <laughs> no one just works with Kim.com, you know. I mean, there's too many red flags. There's, uh, a, there's a credibility issue, isn't no, there? No, once I sit down with people and I answer their questions and they understand who I am and that there's actually nothing to worry about, uh, you know, it, it moves forward. And the same happened with Laila Hari. <laughs>